Here we go then with the Funky Friday workout. We're going to go for six exercises, 30 seconds each, 10 seconds on, a couple of different variations to exercises we normally do to keep it funky and keep it fresh for this one. So those six exercises, we'll start off with jog and punch, get things moving. Then we're going to take it down, repeating a little bit of that, punching with crunch and punch. We're going to come up, one, two, three, four. So we're coming part way up. So we're holding as we do those four punches up. Then we're going to pop it over into a bare plank. Now that is where the feet are just underneath. So we're going to come to here and then we're going to make it nice and challenging by adding a shoulder touch as well in this position, keeping the back like a tabletop and coming around 90 degrees in the hips, 90 degrees in the knees as well. Then we're going to bring it up. We're going to do split squat, three each side. One, two, three. We're either going to step the change or we're going to jump round into that position again. Another three, jump round again. Or we're just going to stand up and swap sides. Then we're going to come down back again into a press up variation. So we're going to start closer in, either full or on the knees. We're going to do one press up. Then we're going to take the hands out and do a regular press up. Then we're going to bring those hands in. So we're in and out between each rep. We do exactly the same with the knees down as well. In and out. And then we're going to finish slightly wider feet for a squat. We're going to do the frog squat, hands going down. Little bounce up, pushing off and keeping that moving. You don't have to reach all the way to the floor. That's going to depend on your hip mobility. So just reaching down and popping up a little bit as well. If on the way through the rounds, you're feeling like you want to be doing that as dynamic and jumping up, then just keep on squatting up and down. Keep those hands going through to keep yourself going with a good depth and range of movement. So nice and active first up, jog and punch. Here we go. And we're in. Feet going, hands out to the front, keeping it moving. Down then, crunch and punch next. So up one, two, three, four, just part way up. One, two, three, four. So we're getting maximum core and abs engagement by just coming part way up. Little twist is gonna add a little bit of core work as well. Go around one and again. Great job. That's got the core working. I'm going to give it a different challenge now. Stability, keep it nice and still. This bare plank. So up and into that plank, nice and controlled, nice and strong. Upper body working as well. And then we're going to touch round. We're feeling nice and stable onto the shoulders. So core working hard now to hold this position. If it gets too much, just hold it. Otherwise, keep going with these shoulder touches. Then we're going to create a bit more upper body tension and a bit more core work, we're trying to stay nice and still. Great job. But we're coming, just want to go for a three and three split squats. Jump round into the other side if we want. One, two, three. That's the jump round, or we can step it round. In this side, put the one from the second side. Take it down then, in and out, press up, full all on the knees. Get the elbows in, elbows out. Keep it going. The tractor goes past. So we're in 
and then we're out. You want the knees as well? Take it in. Keep that weight forward, elbows tucked on it in. And even if press up gets too much, just taking the hands in and out for the plank is a nice challenge. There we go. Last one then. Frog, squat, doing a jump for as long as you can. So down and up. That's it. Keeping it going, just change it to a squat if you want. Not too much jump. There we go, one round done, the Funky Friday workout. We're gonna take this back, aim to go through again another two or three times, make it three or four rounds all together for this workout. 